Hey guys, today I wanted to teach you a little tip on how to remove background noise from a video. All you need for this is a copy of Adobe Audition. It's very quick, it's very easy. Let's get started. What I have here is a clip of an interview. You can see it was shot in a grow room, a cannabis grow room. Don't worry about that. It was shot in Colorado. It's all legal. Um, but if you look at the audio file down here in Premiere, and you don't have to use Premiere, um, you can use any software you like. I'm just using Premiere to show you the audio file. Where the actor is not speaking, the interviewee is not speaking, we've got some background noise. Let me play you the whole clip. So Elite is, uh, is different than a lot of the products on the market. So you can hear there's a lot of noise in the background. This is basically due to the fans, the lights, the hum, the camera gear, all of that sort of stuff. And it's a sort of constant background noise and that's what we want to get rid of. And you can see an example of that noise here when I play it. Okay, so rather than messing around with EQs and filters and all of that sort of stuff, Adobe Audition comes with a fantastic tool that will just basically learn the noise and then remove the noise from the whole audio clip. So what I need to do now is send this audio clip to Audition to process it. And in Premiere, all you have to do is right click on the clip. And one of the options here is Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. And away it goes. Now before we do anything on this clip, let's just go back to Premiere and see what's happened. Premiere has made a copy of the audio, okay, and has replaced the audio in the uh, sequence with the copy. So when we edit it in Adobe Audition and we save it, it'll update this copy and it won't damage the original audio file, which is great. So here we are in Adobe Audition and let me just play the file and you can see again what I mean. So Elite is... So you can see along here, look at the levels. There's audio here. Look at this, look at this waveform. Okay, so what we want to do is teach Audition how to get rid of this audio. So let's go up to our view and show our spectral frequency display. This shows us the audio frequencies in the file. And you can see these bold areas here, these white areas. This is where our subject is talking. And here's a click. And if I play this again, you can so, hear that click. So Elite is... Uh, okay. So Elite... And this stuff here, this is noise. Okay, low frequencies, high frequencies. The guy's not talking, but there's a lot of noise. There's some noise, there's set frequencies, see that, going left and right. That'll be a hum or a whine or something like that, and then just general background noise. So what we need to do is teach Adobe Audition about this noise and then ask it to remove that noise from the whole clip. And that's really easy. Up in the tools menu here, I've chosen the lasso tool. I'm not using a tablet here, so it's gonna be a little bit clunky, but let me just select a section of audio that we want to remove, okay? It's important not to include any breathing, any talking, the sequence of audio has to be generally just background noise. So let me just play it. Okay, so it's just background noise. None of this stuff, okay, we don't want to remove any of that. Now we have to teach Audition what this is, and that's called creating a noise print. So if we go to our effects menu, and go down to noise reduction and restoration, you can see an option here called capture noise print, or shift P. And what that does is it teaches Adobe Audition what the noise parameters are for this section of the selected audio. So let's click on that. Okay, boom. Adobe Audition has now captured a noise print. Now what we want to do is tell Adobe Audition to remove what it's captured from the whole clip. Now we need to unselect this area because if we left it selected it would only remove the noise from this area. So I'll just click somewhere else. Okay, again effects, noise reduction and restoration, noise reduction process. Now this process is a bit like a big hammer, okay? It's not subtle, it's quite blunt, um, and an audio engineer would probably want to adjust all of these settings and do it properly, but I'm just going to use the default preset, preset just to show you how easy this is. So I'm going to click Apply. Boom, look at that. Okay, see all of that extraneous noise has gone. Now let's listen to our file. So Elite is, uh, is different than a lot of the products on the market. Wow, okay, compare that to the original. So Elite is, uh, is different than a lot of the products on the market. Okay, so wow, look what we've done here. There is still a little bit of low rumble in here, but that's fine. The other thing I'm going to do is get rid of this click at the start, and I can use the same technique. Okay, I'm just going to select it. I'm going to go Shift-P to learn the noise print. And because I'm removing the print from this section, I'm just going to go Alt-Shift-P, sorry, Command-Shift-P, 
and I'm only going to apply it to the selection and it's gone. Okay, see that? So now we can listen to it. So Elite is, uh, is different than... Okay, I might just do this one more time. Get rid of this last remaining audio. Shift P, Command Shift P, Apply. And now we've got this. So Elite is, uh, is different than a lot of the products on the market. Great. Now if I hit Command S to save the file and I switch back to Premiere, you'll see that the waveform now has been adjusted. Look at that, no noise. And I might just right click on this and choose uh, Audio Gain. And I might say that I want to boost that audio up so that its peak is about minus 3 dB. That's just a personal preference. Boom. And now when we listen to the clip. So Elite is, uh, is different than a lot of the products on the market. Fantastic. And it's that easy. Okay, so I hope you like that. Um, please comment in the comments if you have any questions or any suggestions for better presets or settings or other software that you use. And thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Hey guys, so like I said, there's not a very subtle way to remove background noise from videos, but it's quick and it's easy and it gets the job done. If you liked the video, then click the like button. If you want to see more of them, click subscribe. Thanks guys. Thank you.